good morning guys welcome to today's video i was just doing my morning cleaning which is like what i do when sam does the barn and i found something in sophie's room and i am in love with it and i'm going to show you guys so i was cleaning sophie's room yesterday and i was throwing out some stuff and i found this hidden on her table i found this and i love it so i asked her like and even so it has words on it and even before sorry ellie come on up come on up come on so even before I saw the words, I knew it said Finn. It says F-I-N-N -N, and it's blue and light blue and green. It is gorgeous. Where did you get this? Did you make this or did a fan make it for you? Fan. Yeah, I know. I love it. And so I was cleaning up stuff and throwing out junk and she said, you're not throwing that away. And I said, you're right. I'm not throwing that away. Oh, it matches your shirt today. Yeah. I love it. But, but it made me think about how like we have so many mementos in this house made by fans sent to us by fans like we have name takes for our horses we have christmas decorations we have like you name it and we have it made and sent to us by you guys so i'm going to show you something else don't worry, I'll get it. yeah so we're going to keep this forever like this will be in her bucket that she takes to her home when she gets married <laughs> <laughs> Every time we sit down somewhere, the dogs just freak out and come and sit no, with us. No, normally my dog never enters my room. You know what? We have never like done a tour of your room in a long time. Do you want to do like we a room tour? We did it on my YouTube. Recently? I don't know how long ago it was. Have we ever done it on our channel? I don't think so. Alright, do you guys want to see a room tour? I mean, I think we pretty much showed you already. Alright, let's do it. I was going to knock on the door and then Ellie just pushed her, her way in. All right. So, hi, Sophie. <laughs> I think it's only our dogs that push the doors open. No, I think all dogs push doors open. All right. So, let's do a quick room tour of Sophie's room while it's clean. Pets. We might as Yes, these are the lovely pets. <laughs> Anytime they find anything soft, <laughs> don't look at Ellie's messy hair. Uh, that's where they lay. But um, My hair's only messy because it was raining. I know it's raining outside. That's why we're inside. Over here, she has a bean bag chair and she has some jewelry. And then over here is all the junk that she has accumulated that she still keeps. Like every time I come in here, don't touch that because that thing's gonna fall over. I feel like. Stitch. Yeah, you should put them on your bed. Stitch. Oh, you should put all those on your bed. Well, those are too small, and I always find everything on the fourth floor. <laughs> all right. Where are all the darts for that? Every year at Christmas, you spend a lot of... Oh, thank God you yeah, turned away me. from me. Well, I thought if I hate you, I'd get in trouble. Okay, so there are her toys. Every year at Christmas, we have a, a Nerf fight. Here's her TV and her Schleich, but her Schleich container is backwards, I think. Is it backwards? Well, because you turned it. Oh. So there's all her Schleich in there. All her farm stuff is in her closet. Her TV, her bed with all her Squishmallows. She loves Squishmallows. And then she got this giant one at Christmas. I don't know if we showed you guys that. And then her ribbon wall. I think most of you guys know this, but it's good to do like a room tour or a house tour when people are new to the channel. We have a lot of new if, people. Um, the camera is shaky, it's because Yeah, if the camera is shaky, it's because I have little beasts. Like, she doesn't understand that she shouldn't be like trying to kill Daisy when I'm Wait, videoing. She's on my bed. Oh my god, that's a surprise. Yeah. She doesn't like to go on Sophie's bed. Why? Why doesn't she like to go on your bed? She gets shocked. She gets shocked from the blankets and then she freaks out because she can't figure out where the shocks are coming from. Yeah. Yeah. And then when she gets used to going on my bed, she won't leave the bed if I'm yeah. on it. Which is a good thing because she has slept with Sophie before and she's like <laughs> sleeping with a bear. So yeah. heavy, doesn't she move. She takes up the whole bed. Takes up the whole bed. <laughs> Ellie, stop it. Ellie's like, I will eat your legs. All right, move out of the way and I'll take, and I'll show them the rest of the room. Oh, that's her ribbon wall there, her fan. Over there, she's got her dresser and then she's got her night table. Wait, where's my night table? No, not her night table. Then that's her makeup table over there. Why do I want to take the room? Then she's got a mirror behind there. So that's the room. I'll do a little pan of it right now. Another thing I don't know if I ever showed you guys is this is our hallway and we have these two windows. I love that window up there. It makes this hallway so bright. This is where I keep all the junk for the grandkids because there's always been a window up there. I only noticed that one. I know, there's I a little one here too. 
So I keep all my grandkids stuff here. So when they come, they come upstairs, coming up to get that's toys. Fine, that's fine, that's yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna do a room tour for Gabby's room too. We'll see if we can find any fan stuff in Gabby's room. <laughs> wow, would you look at that? There's a dog in every room. No. I was gonna slam the door, but then I was like, oh, that's bad. <laughs> So here is Gabby's room. You guys have seen it. Most of you guys have seen it. Uh, maybe not when it's completely Look, there's clean. There's a ruby in every room. There's a ruby in every room. Uh, so there's her TV and her dresser she painted. There's her stand, her bookshelf. I don't know if I, if we ended up ever showing you guys what she did with it. She's gonna don't touch anything. On yeah, it. we can't touch anything. But this is her bookshelf. All her favorite things. I need more books. When did you get a platypus? A while ago. Oh, I like yeah, it. Right there, and then there. underneath, she's got her duster. <laughs> so then she's got her bed. And the funny thing about Gabby is that she likes to sleep in a cocoon right in the middle of the bed. Yeah, I'm like, oh, Gabby's not in bed. Never mind, she is. <laughs> yeah. And then she's got her night table and she's got a little chair and her red blanket that signifies storm. And she's got her ribbon wall. And then she's it got a mirror. Signify anything, actually. Um, you got that when you had my storm. My favorite color and we went to a store and I was like, see, they have a blanket. And I was like, okay. Yeah. And we were like, oh, that blanket's soft. I like it. So, so for me. this summer we're planning to do like a bedroom rehaul for Gabby, make it more like her style now. This She's had this comforter since she was like 10 or something, 11. And we're gonna... Also from the same store that we got that blanket from. Yeah, what store was it that we got those things? It was the one that closed. It was right next to... It was the new one that opened up, like the warehouse one. Oh, well, anyway, so she loves red, and then she's got her dresser <laughs> over here. Don't show the Lego. Um, then she has, like, her pictures of her boys and all that stuff. <laughs> all right, so before we go... Ow! Ow. Jesus! So before we go, I noticed that there is one thing from fans in Gabby's room, and... It is this pillow. Yeah, I, love I actually pillows. have a lot of things. You have a lot? Have oh, she has a lot of things, she says, from fans. But somebody sent us that a long time ago when we had Storm and Stella. And I love that pillow. I also have Storm's Charm that we couldn't use. Because oh, Storm's Charm. Use that the other Did somebody one? send us that? Yes. Aw. Just wait after to show them one more thing. She also has a number. Is that from like a horse show? Yes. Seven ninety nine. dollars from Trillium? Trillium, yeah. Aww. All right, so since we're upstairs, we might as well just do a whole um, clean house tour because our house is clean. So uh, this is Sam in my room. It's just plain, regular room. Super clean. This is it. I won't do a pan because there's nothing exciting in here. Just where we sleep. But if you guys notice that I have hearts on our wall because hearts are so important to me. And then our bathroom, it's just plain Jane bathroom. In the kitchen, we got rid of our bearded dragon, which is bittersweet. I know she's gonna love where she lives now. Uh, so now we have room for our entire table in here. Makes it look a little bit different. Also, the living room, and there's always a daisy dog on our couch. Also, our kitchen is clean, and the biggest change of all we kind of cleaned up the dining room this is where you guys know we do all of our homeschool we do all of our computer stuff it's always such a huge mess in here because we just have so much so we just have so much stuff now you guys see our house all the time every day but i keep on getting messages from people saying can you do a house tour and now that I have the house is actually like perfectly clean or pretty much clean. I was like, why not just do a house tour? Uh, I think I'm gonna do a barn one too, but I feel the same, like you guys have already seen everything. I feel like you guys see our barn all the time. You see us like in and out and doing stuff in there. So I never think to show it, but for anybody who's new, this is like an updated clean house, house tour. We are at the bookstore because little Miss Gabby needs some books for school. What the heck is that? 
I actually like that a little. Oh, it's a bathrobe. They have like, at our bookstore, they have like pajamas. Cause you want to be cozy in your book reading area. Oh, they moved the manga. What is it? I've already read with that one though. She's already read it. They have it there. But they have it. <laughs> they never have the books that she wants. So they actually have the book that she needs, which is number nine. She's read the first eight. And then I find Sophie over here looking for a book. Sophie's wearing different colors, all different colors today. It's just one of those days. It's pouring rain outside and cold today. So Sophie and I wanted to ride. This is the second book in my series. And also, then, Sylvia has a cold. You guys might not be able to tell, but she's got a sore throat. My grand oh no, it's just my nose now. Is it just your nose? Yeah. When the grandkids came, they both had terrible, terrible coughs. But Sylvia's actually doing not too bad. She I just has a sore it's throat not and running. Just nose. that section. It's this section too. Oh wow, that's good. So I she's know. still. My brain actually did something. She's still into the graphic novels. I like things like this. Fall of the School of Good and Evil, and the Tale of the Sorcery. The Tale of Sorcery. I think she'd like these kind of books. My actual favorite genre is fantasy. Oh, they have book one. And I love historical. I found three books I want. <laughs> you found three books that you want? So this is Sophie's favorite show. You guys can't see it. The Summer I Turned Pretty. She loves that show. So I read always on my phone because it's just easier for me, but I miss having books. Um, so this is on my summer reading list. This is what I'm reading next but I'm reading a series right now. I'm gonna show you guys. They found me. <laughs> Different one. You're getting four? Yes. And you're getting three? I'm getting this one. So what's super cool about Sophie that people might not yeah, understand. You could pretty much just sit here and read the books. I know. It's that she doesn't like reading. She never has enjoyed reading. And Sam has never read a book in his life, even through school. He hates reading. But the thing is, we found books that Sophie likes and it's gonna make her turn into a reader. Um, I don't know if there's more of a series, but they only have book one and two. Books, cause this is the stuff dial. Oh my gosh, that's an adult one? Let's it's see. It's huge. I would never finish that. Paper Girls, the complete story. Oh, that's weird. And Sophie just said, I just, I found a whole new aisle. And then I'm like, I never even knew this existed, this aisle. Okay, so this is what I'm reading right now. Wow. <laughs> It looks tiny and unassuming. It's really good. The Hobbit? No, The Assassin's Apprentice. Well, you could have told me the name. So I'm reading this one. I have, there's like 16 books or something in the series and I have the whole series online. There's 24 in this series. Oh my God, oh my gosh. So anyway, those are the books that I'm reading right now. But now that I know that this section exists, I'll be reading all of these. I found more. Yeah, graphic yeah, novels. Wow, what the heck? <laughs> We're idiots. We are idiots. Do you want to swap out your books and get adult ones instead? Look at Laura Olympus. No, I'm still a child. She's got a horse. I want to see if I'll always be a child. No longer human. The good cover. No longer human. I like these. Okay. This is a really good book. Get the first one first, though. I find that I like books written by women more than men, but I find a lot of the fantasy books are written by men. What is it? I love a huge book like that. Like those are my favorite. Those are my favorite kind of books. I read that. I read that. Gabby read that too. No, I read it. Gabby wants me to read this book, the Book of Earth Sea. It's all the books in one illustrated novel. I might get that. But you guys, if you if you're a book lover, then you know what it feels like to be in a bookstore and find all these books that you didn't even know existed. So today is the horse's first day, three hours today on the grass, and they are looking chunky. <laughs> Penny has a grass baby. Oh. None of our horses are completely shed out yet, though. Like all of them. And this one is getting a brush because she's not even Palomino anymore. So now that the horses spend a lot of time on grass, it seems like we don't have as much time with them. Like we were, Sylvia and I were gonna ride today, but it was wet this morning and it was cold and it is still cold. Um, it's still not gonna be Palomino. But look, her hair is really coming off. I love that. I put you out in the morning all nice and clean. So yeah, that's what she looks like. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Sophie brushes her in the morning before she goes out. Unless and then she's clean. Which she, she normally is as she comes in. This is still my favorite brush. We even left Willow's blanket on today. <laughs> Whenever we come back, they're like, oh, I'm so full. <laughs> There's still hay out here. They don't actually need it though. Anyway. We literally have been shedding our horses three times a week at least. Almost every day, really. You cannot brush this pony without her being gro without her grooming you back. So I groomed all the ponies out there. I taught her not to. I groomed all the ponies out there, and Sophie's still grooming. But look at, she looks like all ragged. No, I just brushed that. I know, but look at how like dirty she looks still. And she as just, soon as this winter's hair gone, this winter hair, this winter hair might not go. That's what I'm worried about. Well, then I'm shaving. Like it used to be like really thick and cute. Now it just is at this weird, gross stage. Like, is this gonna leave? Hopefully, because it's all curly. Yeah, it's like this weird. Like, look at her head. It just looks gross. And then she's got like these dark eyes that make her look weird. She's like, oh, scratch it, scratch my ear. Are your ears scratch itchy? Her belly. Oh, her. Off. She's got mud all up here too. Yeah, I know I haven't got her face. Yeah, yet. as soon as it's warm, this baby's getting a bath. Look at as her. soon as his hair's gone. Oh, she loves it. So Let's do this one. Oh, she <laughs> loves it. Both the girls have lessons tomorrow, and I'm gonna ride tomorrow. It's supposed to be a little bit warmer, but not super hot. I want to ride as much as I can in spring. It's weird to see her without like as much fur. The grass is taller than her. Yeah. The grass is almost ready to be cut. Debbie's got Chino out on the grass for a walk because he can't go on grass and it's so sad. <laughs> and then here comes Ellie. Come on, Ellie. Come on. <laughs> She's so cute. So I saw on one of our TikToks. I saw on one of our TikToks recently. Someone said that Ellie is lame. People say that sometimes. It's because she has, she's post-legged in the back, especially on the one side. Uh, not Ellie. Honey. So it's just a confirmation thing. She's like straight-legged. And so that's just how she moves. Isn't she so cute? I can't even like figure out who she is. Like She has so much energy. She just looks so different to me now. Like, it's the face. Her face was this cute, short, chubby little face. And now she's like... An adult. Like, a big girl face. And like, her hair. I have so much joy just sitting here watching all of our... All of our pets. Like, I just can't get over the look of her. She's just so different looking. <laughs> Like, look at how cute she is. She's like gonna be like. She's like, oh, we're stopping now. Like sleek and pretty. I, hope you put that in camera. I think I did. Oh, I don't think I did. And then I love Chino, and I just, I don't know. Maybe it's the sun and the heat just make me have so much joy. <laughs> but how can you not have joy when you're living this life? Like, how can you not have joy when you have so many animals in your life? And then there's Gabby way down there. <laughs> no, she's she's loving taking her boy for a walk. Don't you know that you're beautiful?